Lech laid on Thames. The crowd are going wild. Whoa! Go, go, go. Going for the Guinness World Record um, solo kayak on the River Thames for the navigable non tidal section of the river. Um, dropping in Lech Laid and finishing at Teddington Lock. It's just gone 9 a.m. Friday, 28th of May. Got the uh, kayak here. Gonna drop in now. I'll be live tracking on the Garmin. Be able to follow it on Facebook, but this video is gonna be so late you won't see it. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We're in the vessel. All right. All right, see you in a couple of days. Yep. See you later, bye. Just about to start the paddle. Let's laid on Thames. Actually a little nervous, especially for the night bit and the locks bit, but that way to London. All right, ready? Go on, three, two, one, go. And they're off. Crowd goes wild. Oh, this is easy. All right, keep track on the app and I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Quick wave to the fans. Give way to the swans. St. John's Lock, 9.34. St. John's Lock, done. 9.52, Buscot, Buscot Lock. Through the lock. Now it's got to try and awkwardly get back on it. Not ideal. May capsize doing this. Oh, oh no, he's dunked the leg. He's proper dunked the leg there. That's not a good start to the day. Oh, oops, I'll dry off. There's a boat from Buscot Lock. Not leaving me too far behind. I can't be much off the. It's going five, six kilometres an hour. Averaging, if I average anywhere between four and six kilometres an hour for the full event, that'll do nicely, I think. With the locks and lunch breaks and toilet breaks included. We'll take that. 5k in, 51 minutes so far. Down at Grafton Lock. Yeah. Grafton Lock 1046. This is going to be a mission. Hopefully, all my knots are reasonable and it's not going to come. And done. Hopefully, I was be screwed. All right, how do we can do this? Never done one of these before. Oh yeah, this is good for the energy consumption. Save your energy for the paddle. I guess you do something here as well, do you? Nah, that's snap. I do. Only about 50 more of those to do. Brilliant. Yoink. Quick snack. Pins and needles set in, but they seem to have uh, shifted after that little dance round of that lock. 10.25k done in hour 48. Got the fans on the bank. Goddamn paparazzi with their flip case phones. Oh, she's running to get the iPad. She's running to get the iPad. Quick, get the iPad. <laughs> oh. Is it down here? Down this way? All right. Do you want to stop here? I'm happy to keep going. All right, I'll keep going for a bit.
Brad Cotlock. Time is Brad Cotlock, 11:25. Thank you. Well, Hiya. You're keeping good pace with us. Not far off, am I? <laughs> this is the first boat I was behind leaving Lechlade. So I've kept up it the whole way. Thank you. I'm going just under six kilometers an hour with the locks. The boats aren't even going much quicker and they can go eight kilometers an hour. Here comes the rain. You can see it in the water, probably not. I'm gonna gamble and not put anything on. So I don't think it's here to stay. I can't bother to stop and put a raincoat on. Not when it's just spitting like this. We'll see how the next half hour goes and take from there. It's quite nice actually cooling me down. Weather forecast this morning was only 25% chance of rain uh, throughout the whole day until obviously later on in the evening. So hopefully this is just the 25% and then we'll be dry again. Rushy lock, 10 past 12. Just past Rushy Lock, there's um, just past the three hour mark. <laughs> We've done 17 kilometers. <laughs> you guys look a bit wet up there. You look a bit wet. Yeah, I'm fine. Three hours, six minutes into the challenge and I just had to swallow some sick. Don't know what that was all about either. I had my breakfast too close to setting off or been drinking too much water or not enough water or I'm getting seasick or I'm a pussy. Those are all the options. Coming up to Chilford Lock. Time is two minutes past one. Shifford Lock. Another snack. And next place I'm going to stop for lunch I think. So we're out so far. And it's still raining. Cool. And one thing I've noticed, I've never seen this many bugs. Actually, that's a lie. I've seen more on my face in Uluru, Australia. There's a lot of bugs about. Oh, bloody hell, we've got Rosie and Jim coming down the river. Better keep right of those. Good afternoon. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. River's opened up quite wide now. I'm sure we'll get narrower at some other points, but this is quite good, really. Not messing around with too many corners and that. It's more sort of like straight down the line stuff, which is a bit quicker, a bit more efficient. Welcome to, can't read it yet, North Moor Lock. And it's 2.21. We are out of water. <laughs> um, been out of water now about half an hour. So hopefully a support team around here somewhere to top me back up and I'm gonna stop and have a bite to eat as well. Because um, yeah, we've been going, going pretty solidly now for nearly six hours, so. Pink Hill Lock. Time is. Bye right, mate. Pink Hill, 322. Garmin will have to go and charge. So hopefully it's all right like that. So I, I still want to keep an eye on the distance and time I've done at the moment. So I want to have it handy, readily available. So power bank in my pocket and just charging it there. Should be fine. So I'm bloody swimming. Good afternoon. How's it going? Hi, good, thank you. Isham Lock, four o'clock. All right, thanks for coming down. We'll see you later. Bye. Cheers, see you later. Thank you. Just stopped off the last place for lunch. Had, oh. 
so full. Tuna pasta salad, a uh, couple of little bun things, carbohydrate gel thing, Bord Luke's aid, refilled my water. So I've got another two litres on my back now. Um, and then a bit of a chomp on a protein bar. Hopefully it sits all right and we can keep going out till more even the evening. Literally a blizzard of bugs in front of me. There's loads. Jesus. King's Lock. Time is 19 minutes past five. And it says over there, five miles to Oxford. Woo! Another call of nature. Just over the eight hour threshold. Done 43 and a half K. Woo! <laughs> oh, getting like pigeon dust sprayed in my face. Godstow Lock. Godstow Lock. Just gone through it, I think I said time. Uh, 5.47. Right, this part of the river's pretty boring and same old, same old. So, before I take you guys through a few positions that I'll be adopting throughout this challenge. Obviously, I'm nearly 50 kilometers in now. But, this one you see here, this is a racing position. It's where we get some good pace on. This one here, oh, this one just feels good. Feels good old stretching the old hammies. Now this one, oh, this one's the old casual Sunday day. Having a little cruise down the river. Maybe strawberries and champagne, who knows? Then you got this one, which is just like, Christ, I ache, I need to change position. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's only a couple more miles to Oxford, isn't it? Sorry? I saw it um, the last lock, was it Gadstone? Gadstone? Godstow, yeah. Godstow, yeah. Said it's only got a five, mi uh, yeah, um, five miles to... Good well, we're at, we're at 50 kilometres nearly. So not too bad for a day shift. I was say, well, yeah. yeah, not bad. Fair enough, yeah. yeah. Well, enjoy your weekend. See you later, bye bye. Osney Lock. Six twenty-one over the fifty k mark. Nine hours thirteen. Oh, we go now. We're in Oxford. We've got the bloody University of Oxford rowing team out on the pitch, the river. Well, oh, we'll have you. You want some? I'll give it you. Oh, he's in a bloody race. All right, I can have this one. Let him have this one. We'll take on the next one. All the rowing clubs, Oxford Uni rowing clubs, I guess. Lock uh, 6.59 10 hours basically 55k yeah but the Sanford Lock time is 7.37 very nice snack We are, we are, we are. Got a big gap in between these two locks. One of the bigger ones of the day. It's about seven kilometers, so probably just over an hour. And it's long old stretches like this. Literally, it's just heads down. Getting a good strokes per minute in. Just cover a bit of ground. It's not the most entertaining stuff in the world. This looks sicker. Eh? 
Abingdon Lock, 8.46. My time is coming. Gonna do two more locks, which is about eight kilometers. Take about 80 minutes, give or take. And then have some dinner. Literally says danger right there. We're right. I would have gone straight down there because, well, that's the obvious way to go along the river. But then it's got lock just down this little bit. Lucky, um, yeah, lucky I'm going to be doing it in pitch black soon. <laughs> Time is. 9.42 and we're at Colnham Lock. That's bright. Just come up at Colham Lock. Um, I'm going to come out here and have a little bit of a rest because well, I've been going for like 12 and a half hours. Done just under 70k. We've had a good sleep, eight o'clock next day, Saturday, and now we kept got out a column lock yesterday, which is here. We got out over there, then obviously dropping in here as well. So trying to do a hundred kilometers today and then finish with a bit more of a short day tomorrow. Anything to say to the camera? Let's push on. Enjoying yourself? Great fun, exhausted. And here is the noble steed, ready for another day of action. Looking forward to getting my bum back on that saddle. I feel fresh as a daisy. Got water bladder, two and a half liters. Got a couple of carbohydrate, isotonic things. Got all the locks, distances, and names. Electronics. And then food at the front with a raincoat in there as well. I'm rough. See you later. Right. First lock of the day. Clifton lock. I think that was Clifton lock at 903 and here comes the rain again don't actually mind it being rainy because at least it keeps you cool this like warm rain it's not too bad and it's not too windy either so i'll take it over the blaring sun to be honest what sort of job you got to do to live there jesus coming up to day's lock 9.40 This section of the river is 10k in between each lock so one of the longest sections on the river I think it might even be the longest section to be honest nor about that between like 3 and 6k in between as a whole so a 10k take about 100 minutes to kayak so literally just giving it a bit and I just stare at that little blue Pacific kayak sticker for a good while get a bit of focus and then look up see where I am really and try and get around the next corner Benson Lock 1040 Thanks a lot, cheers.
got that wrong. It's 10k to the next one. Damn it. I thought it was quick. It was only 6k now, I've got another 10k on top till the next one. Do I go for the overtake or not? Cannot wait for this lunch. Literally less than half a kilometre from the lock. Hopefully support team are there. Just some yummy sandwiches. I'm running on empty. And I need to get this hoodie off as well. First time having a break into a sweat with nice weather. Bring on that lunch. Literally starving Marvin. And the support team are at the next lock. So keep on paddling. Gonna have a couple of nice sandwiches waiting for me here, I hope. But luckily, it's only a kilometre away. So we should be there in the next 10 minutes or so. Goring Lock, 12.35. Lunch time, baby. Hi, mate. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Oh, right into the headwinds. Fresh out of lunch. Coming up to the 100k mark for the paddle so far. In 28 hours, 22 minutes. So, pretty much bang on schedule. Tiny bit behind, ahead. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough rest of the day paddle and then a tough finish tomorrow. Whitchurch Lock. Uh, Four twenty-five. Hi. Oh Jesus, this headwind is not good. Uh, progress. Maple Durham Lock. Five past three. Well, four minutes past three. Sun's out. Blue skies. I'm gonna burn. This bit's a seven kilometer stretch to the next lock. So another long, long bit. Just gone past the sign for the boundary of Redden. So. That's pretty good. Oxford yesterday, Redden today. Must be coming more into Redden now. Some big old cruiser ferries around there. Be fun to dodge. Cavisham Lock. 4.15. Cavisham Lock. Thank you. Big old dinosaur bird. <laughs> Getting the old classic out for a bit of afternoon motivation. Finish day two strong. Get some tunes popping. Canoe? Yeah, yeah, British canoe. Good man, yeah. Thank you, mate. Hello, mate. Yeah. Yeah, come here. Okay. Uh, Teddington. 
Yeah. Elevate. I started a lech lay yesterday. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Cheers. So I right, like a bit of waves. Little jumps. Woohoo! Ship Lake College, la di da, with the rowing boats in the front garden. Ship Lake. Bang on six. Enjoy your weekend. See you later, easy. I think I'd rather take the bush to be honest. The sun is an absolute killer in the eyes. Didn't have it yesterday because it was so cloudy. Blinded marsh lock. Definitely can't see that. Uh, 726. Watch out, Buffy. Just coming into Henley now, I think. Sun's basically gone now in between the trees. So just making the most out of this last bit of daylight. And that's day two done. Ready for the final day tomorrow. Hambledon lock. Thank you. 20 past eight. Cheers, mate. Stop the change for a second. Thought I'd better do a selfie in the kayak, because otherwise, no one's going to ask me. And that's not a bad view either. Oh, God, we're in relaxing mode. Oh, baby. Banging little campsite somewhere past Henley on Thames. Again, Bug City at dusk or sunset. Look at our mouth shut. Jesus. Thanks a lot, appreciate that. Cheers. Got to do another 3K. That's only 4K. Hmm. Be right. So got 1K to one and then 2.7k to another. Let's go. Got my head torch. 
That's pretty good. Just might have to use it for this last little bit today. Temple lock 9.38. This one's gonna be a little sketch in the dark. That's all right. He says. Three, two, one. Whoa. Bradley. Oh, this torch don't do nothing. <laughs> this don't do nothing apart from my bloody paddle. Ah, perfect. Let's fucking go. I feel like it's lighter than it was last night. It looks a lot lighter on the screen than it is in real life. But it's just luckier here because the river's that little bit wider, the trees a little bit shorter, so you don't get drowned out as much by the trees. And so many bugs and it's like not a cloud in the sky so getting that last little tiny bit of light and we got about 1.4k to the final well for the final pickup for today and that's 75 kilometers in the bag baby That is the one good thing. If you can't see the weir, or see the signs for the weir, at least you can normally hear it. So, I think this is gonna make it back safe and sound. <coughs> Church clock's chiming, must be 10 o'clock. Well, can see the ropes for the weir on the right so we're gonna stay left let's see if this torch actually shows anything up ah they got little reflective things on them ah, that's quite handy to know for the next time I paddle the Thames <laughs> Mardo lock at three minutes past ten. Boom boom. Back at Mardo lock this morning. It's just gone six a.m. It's looking a bit brighter and friendlier today. Uh, Sunday, 30th of May, and we got about another seven, 70 kilometers to go until we finish, hopefully. Any last words of wisdom? Don't call back up too early. Oh, you're going back to bed, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> so we're at almost 45 hours so far, back in at Mar Marlow Lock, time is, 617. 617. Alright, see you in London. Oh. Straight into the wind this morning. Tough start. And my hands are actually feeling a little cold for the first time in the whole paddle. But it is still in light, just gone 6 a.m. So it should warm up a little bit. Cookham Lock at <laughs> oh seven nineteen. For the record. These islands be sick to camp on. Drop in downstream of Cookham Lock, paddle up here, 
camp and then pedal back in the morning. After staring at this view for two days, I've realized again, I think that my right leg is slightly longer than my left leg. Like, Weird. Taking the opportunity to have a quick bulleter. Oh, we had the, yeah. Because literally all I've eaten today is a yogurt and a breakfast bar. But yeah, we just kayaked along this little spot. And luckily we didn't go this way. Bloody Niagara Falls. Walter's lock. 806. Thank you, really appreciate that. Have a nice weekend. Maidenhead Rowing Club. That sounds like London. And then, uh, mate, can't more there. Haven't even seen what this lot's called yet. Braylock. Uh, 843. Wow. Oh, you actually have the yeah. Bove knee lock. Time is. 9.31. Oh, there's a couple of little ducklings down there. Hmm. Nice. This will do. Just noted as we're leaving Bovney Lock, I've now passed 48 hour mark. Got about, got just over 50k left. Then we're done. Windsor Castle, that tastes like London to me. Let's give this old tugboat a race, shall we? I think I'm taking him. He's gonna get pissed off now because he ain't really had to overtake me. Me and Emma stood on this bridge. Romney Lock. 10.29. Thank you. Put a more up here for a bit. Oh, sorry, Your Majesty. In Windsor Castle's back garden. The Crown Estate, no land in a mooring. This is the protected site under section 128 of a section of a serious organized crime and police act 2005. Very serious. Trespass on the, trespass on the site is a criminal offense. Oh, sorry. Thank you. 
Old Windsor Lock. 11.16. Last lunch stop of the day. And now, get cracking. Finish strong. About 40k left, just over. Hopefully finish between 7 and 8 p.m. ish. <laughs> that whole boat full, front of the boat and the back of the boat, all got nice ways. That old people that really nice house. Thought I'd try my luck with a nice rich old lady. No way back, gutted. Bell weir lock. Uh, 12.43. Boom. Woo! So we're getting into London. This is why I'm having to piss now. Underneath this bridge. Glass on the floor. But there's no to more the boat. So I'm just going to have to piss whilst holding on to it. Unfortunately. Right, this isn't obvious at all. Don't think anyone saw. Nothing to see here. Just someone who's desperate. Pendant Hooklock, 142. Cheers. I think that's the definition of a houseboat. As tinkle spots go, this is cracking. Look at that. I'm just going to have to get wet feet here. Hopefully they don't sink in the mud. We're up. Chertsey Lock. At 2.45. Thank you. There's the old lock. Shepperton Lock, 3.40. 5k, 5k, 7k, 1k. Sunbury Lock at half four. So I got clean hands. <laughs> got ten K left until Teddyton. We're at Mosey Lock. Five twenty three. Got eight just under eight kilometers to go. Then we're at Teddy to lock and finished. Can't wait. Looking forward to finishing and enjoying the last eight kilometers or so. Then it's done. Going into Mosley Lock. Last lock. Final push. Two to three K, let's go.
Yeah. All right. Oh, what a day. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a nose. Oh, bit harder than I thought I meant to. <laughs> Nearly went through it. <laughs> Too slow. Oh. Oh. Ready to go again. Bar? Why? Oh. Where's the car? I'm not doing any more kayaking, you can kayak around. Well done. Thank you. So proud of you. Mm. Oh. Oh. Well done.